in barometers of life in these United States. That's in the background when we say, if we ask you to remember a report that we did last year about a fellow who is loudmouthed, overbearing, and crude, you'd probably think of a lot of people in the news, and maybe even a few in the news business. But there is something so special about this man, we returned for another look. Peter Van Sant explains the importance of being earnest. Yes, sir, Vern. Yes, kid. That's me, Vern. The old buddy Ernest. He's obnoxious, offensive, uh, and rude. Remember then, uh, Ernest P. Yeah. Worrell? No one, wait. Vern! Uh, my, my, my hand! Yeah. Ernest is that guy you'd introduce to someone you don't like. Boy, Vern, you sure got a lot of stale old stuff down here. Ernest is Vern's know-it-all next-door neighbor who's always dropping in uninvited at just the wrong time. Vern, Vern, open up, Vern. Merry Christmas, Vern. It's me. Ernest is also the guy who's got the advertising world turned upside down. Scene 15, take 118. More than 2,000 Ernest commercials have been filmed in the past five years. The spots are now seen in more than 100 major cities. has three convenient locations, Vern. All the spots follow a similar format. Ernest bothers Vern, who's never seen. Then Ernest usually does something stupid, as in this taste test. Smooth. Yeah, no doubt about it, Vern. This is my favorite. Yeah, it's uh, mellow yellow. <laughs> Jim Barney plays the rubber-faced Ernest. He films about 50 commercials a month. No one will provide money figures, but the Ernest campaign is a gold mine. It just kept snowballing and snowballing, and now we've sort of, you know, conquered the hemisphere. <laughs> <laughs> I lose it sometimes. So. John Cherry yeah. created the Ernest character. <laughs> he says that in some areas, Ernest is a superstar. He's a cult figure for middle America. I say, you know, I might be on the bottom of the heap, but I'm above that guy. <laughs> Wherever Ernest goes, like this Christmas parade, people go crazy. That's my boy. <laughs> At a recent football game in South Carolina, more than 80,000 people cheered Ernest as he walked out on the field. One police officer was overcome with emotion. People even want to look like Ernest. Golly, Bob, howdy, Vern. Ernest's popularity has spawned a small mail-order industry. There are posters, shirts, videotapes, books, life-size cutouts, Christmas cards, and masks. There's an Ernest and Vern comedy special that's in syndication. Ernest is so popular, he's now heard in Japanese. Ernest spots are sold city by city, so people think he's a homegrown boy. Next month, Ernest will be seen in the advertising mecca of the world, New York City. We talk in the Big Apple, Vern. What do you The city, know what I mean? Home of the 45 second minute. Know what I mean? Ernest creators say that with their local down home strategy, you you'll never see line. Ernest commercials on network television. They got and they believe problem. they'll continue enjoying the sweet taste of success for years to come. Be mine, Vern. Hey, Matt Carmel. Peter Van Sant, CBS News, Atlanta. <laughs> we lose it sometimes. We're losing it now. Have a good weekend. Good night. <laughs>